pause the video and give me the scale reading. Now I want to show you how to read this scale. We need to concentrate on two features. We need to concentrate on this edge of the thimble at this point. I need to concentrate on the edge of the thimble, the center line on the sleeve, and the mark on the thimble which coincides with the center line. Those are the three features that I need to check for each and every time I want to read this scale. The edge of the thimble, the center line on the sleeve, and the mark on the thimble which coincides with the center line of the sleeve. Let's start with the edge of the thimble. Now when we look at the edge of the thimble, we ask ourselves, what scale has it revealed? Because it is covering part of the scale and the rest of the sleeve scale is revealed. So what part of the sleeve scale has it revealed? Or what can we see on the sleeve scale? On the sleeve, we can be able to see zero, we can be able to see one, but we can't be able to see two. On the lower side, we can be able to see 1.5 because you can see the 0 0.5 division bar mark can be seen. So on the sleeve scale, we can be able to see 1.5 millimeters. So we are sure that the reading is between 1.5 and 2. So we write down that value which we can see or we write down the smaller value. So we're going to write 1.5. 1.5 because that is what we can be able to see. 1.5. So we do not know whether it is 1.6, 1 1.7, 1 1.8, 1.9 because all those values, they are between 1.5 and 2. In other words, our reading should lie between 1.5 and 2.00. So what value is it? In order to get that value, we now look at the mark on the thimble, which coincides with the center line of the sleeve. The mark on the thimble which coincides with the center line of the sleeve is 25. So over here we are going to take 25. That 25 we multiplied it by the value of the least count which is 0 0.01 and obviously it will give us 0 0.2 5. That is the value that we are going to add on to 1.5. So our reading is going to be 1.50 plus 0 0.25 and we get 1.75. Millimeters as our reading. Again, I'd like you to pause the video and give me this reading. Okay, let me show you how you take this reading. So remember the points. You look at the edge of the thimble, you determine its position on the scale. In order to do that, you ask yourself, what can I be able to see on the sleeve? And you can see on the sleeve, actually you can be able to see 0, 0 0.5, 1, but you can't be able to see the 0.5 division which lies between 1 and 2. So you need to write down what you can be able to see. So what you can be able to see is 1.0. 
1.00. This time you can't be able to see 1.5. So you're sure that your reading lies between 1.00 and 1.50. It is larger than 1.00 but less than 1.5. So is it 1.2? or 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1.45, 1 1.12, 1.17. They are all those values that are possible. In order to know that value, we look at the reading or the mark on the thimble which coincides with the center line on the sleeve. And you can see the mark on the thimble which coincides with the center line on the sleeve is 15. Again, you get that 15. You multiply it by the value of the least count. And you get 0 0.15. And at this point, you know that in order to get the reading, you're just going to get 1.00. You add 0 0.15 and that gives you 1.15 millimeters. And that's how you get the reading. Let me give you another one. So how about this? Pause the video and give me the scale reading. Again, let's see the scale reading. By now, you should be able to see that you're concentrating on the edge of the sleeve and you're asking yourself, what is its position on the sleeve scale? The edge of the sleeve is between, I can be able to see 10 here, 11, 12, and I can be able to see 12.5. So the reading is between 12.5 and 13. So 12.5 and 13.00 because this one is 0 0.50 millimeters. So again, we look at the mark on the thimble which coincides with the center line on the sleeve. And you can see that it is 21. So you get 21. You multiply it by the value of the list count, which is 0 0.01. And you're going to get 0 0.21. And that is the value that you add on to 12.50. You add 0 0.21. And you get... 12.71 millimeters. Pause the video and give me this reading. Okay, welcome back. Again, let's see what we have. On the sleeve, we can be able to see zero zero mark. Remember, it is the mark that I'm concerned with. It's not the number over there. It's the mark. I can be able to see that mark. And I can't be able to see the 0.5 division which divides zero and one. I can't see it. So I'm sure the reading is between 0 0.00 because that is what I can see and the next possible reading which is 0 0.50 millimeters. I'm sure the reading is somewhere between 0 and this value. It is greater than this but less than this. So how do we find that? I just need to look at the mark on the thimble which coincides with the center line on the sleeve and I can see that if this is five then I have six seven eight I can see that it is the eighth division the eighth 
uh, division on the thimble multiplied by the value of how much each division represents, which is 0 0.01, I get 0 0.08. It is that 0 0.08 that I add on to 0 0.00, I add 0 0.08, and I get my reading as 0 0.08 millimeters. Now, readings which are next to zero are very difficult to read. Like, for instance, you might think that over here, there is no space between the spill, spindle and the anvil. I can be able to show you that actually there is a gap between them. Let me move this very close to the camera so that you can be able to see. Do you see? There is a gap between the anvil and the spindle. So that gap between the anvil and the spindle this gap here is the size of that gap is 0 0.08 millimeters very very small now how do we know that there is a gap between them if i loosen this lock i loosen it and i'm able to advance the thimble look at the size of the gap as i advance the thimble you can see it is closing it's closing until it closes completely and no light now passes between the two and you can see when I do that the reading goes to zero zero let's look at the scale reading here I lock that and you can be able to see that the scale reading is 0 0.00 you can be able to see that mark just see it like that you can't be able to see the 0 0.5 millimeter mark and the division on the thimble which coincides with the center line on the sleeve is zero so when you get a zero and multiply it with the 0 0.01 you simply get a zero you add it onto this zero you get 0 0.00 this is a micrometer screw gauge that does not have a zero error because we have closed the anvil and the spindle. The moment you close the anvil and the spindle in such a way that there is no object between them and the two are just touching, then when you look at the scale and you see that it reads 0 0.00, then you conclude that there is no zero error on that scale if there was a zero error then the zero mark on the thimble will not coincide with the center line on the sleeve if there was a zero error so how do we read the zero error that is what we are going to look at in our next lecture so what i'd like you to do is to look at the exercise which I've given you. In the exercise which I've given you, state the reading of each of the scales which have been given. Now over here I have created a smart document for you. This document helps you to navigate through this exercise very easily. For example, when you just open this uh, document, uh, you will be able to see the question. Now once you have written down the question, if you just scroll down here, you will see a link that enables you to check the answer very quickly. You just need to check that and you can see the answer is written there. And then you can click the next link in order to go to question 2. That link takes you directly to question 2 and then click to check the answer to question 2. Then you go to question 3. After you have answered question 3, you click that link to question to check the answer to question three and then you can go back to question one if you needed to repeat this exercise over and over again so this one is a good document i'll be creating such documents after every video so that you can be able to quickly navigate through you the exercise uh, without any problem wherever i feel that maybe the question is a little bit too difficult i'll uh, create another video explaining how that the answer to that question is arrived at or you can write down in the comments below 
just asking me how the answer is arrived at and I'll be able to show you very quickly how we do that. However, you can also download this uh, document uh, into your computer and uh, print it out. In fact, I would prefer that you print it out so that you can keep it in your file. But if you are using it to on your computer, it's better because you'll have access to the various navigations which make you go through the exercise very quickly.